What is good YouTube, whilst you here with a video about Legends of Tomorrow, we are going to discuss episode 5 compromise from season 2, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, let's get into this breakdown. So Legends of Tomorrow has been renewed for an extra 3 episodes, thus making it 17 more episodes, so we've got a time traveling show for 3 more episodes, as I believe it was due to end quite early compared to the other shows. So within in this episode there were some character development, some fun, some funny jokes, some crazy madness. So the legends trace a time quake to the White House during Rowan Regan's presidency. And they discover that Damien Dark is at large here as a senior advisor. This is set in 90 87 which is 40 years later from later on from the New York episode I believe let me know if my information is wrong but I think I am right on that one so Marty Stein gets to see his his younger self again and he can't believe his younger self is so stupid and irresponsible and just an idiot. So Sarah comes up against the same scenario again. Will she kill Damien Dark? Won't she kill Damien Dark? So they finally discover that Damien Dark is working with a speedster and Sarah Lance says, well Nate says like the Flash, and she said no, faster than the Flash. So they're gonna have to, they will work out soon that it's Ebar Thorn reverse flash. And it, this is where the interesting storyline is gonna take off. So it looked to me almost like reverse, reverse flash is in charge of the Legion of Doom, which I believe is episode 10. So we're on episode five, so a fair few episodes away. So the interesting part about this is we got to see them in 87, which is interesting enough the year before I was born. Uh, we got to see Ray Palmer try to interpret being Captain Cole, which was quite funny, didn't really work, but his chemistry with Heatwave Snart is pretty, pretty awesome. Snart's getting a better, better actor. He's, um, Dominic is an awesome actor in Prison Break. But his acting isn't the strongest within the Legends of Tomorrow, but week by week, it is getting better. So Vixen headed out with Nate Haywood to the Justice Society of America training facility within this episode, and it was all gone. But Ob Obsidian was there, and he's like looking 87, and he was like, why did you leave us? Um, Vixen, so obviously Vixen left without saying anything. He kind of hinted that Vixen and uh, our man were kind of seeing each other or hooking up or something along them lines. So they basically had to sneak in to some gathering to kind of try to stop Damien Dark, but they failed and obviously Damien Dark has some alter plan with the Soviet Union to kind of bound them two countries closer, obviously referring to Germany and the Soviet Union, I believe. So in the end, the legends save the day, decide on the bomb, and Heatwave was like, you are science, you do things with science. So Ray Palmer saves the day with science. But we all know that on the three night crossover, not for Three night crossover as the crossover starts on the Flash. Yes, Supergirl will initially be part of the tiny storyline, but she comes over to the Arrowverse. So this is the Arrowverse storyline episode invasion. So let me just say that he will have his Atom suit during that, as we've seen in the promotional pictures and the kind of mini trailer that Atom will have his suit back. So they will probably go back to the current day. So Sarah Lant is, she's got the situation, does she kill Damien Dark 29 years earlier? Because she says, 
30 years, so we're in 87, so you go 87, 97, 2007, 2017. So he died on Arrow season of four at the end of the episode, at the end of the season, sorry. So that is 2016, not 2017. So she wasn't going to kill him at 30, 29 years earlier, but obviously for TV, 30 sounds better. But it's just an inconsistency. It's 29 years, it's not 30. So she basically ruined, she basically screwed herself over by telling him that his partner dies, his kid dies, the whole city riots up against him. And then at the end we get a really cool teaser where it looks like the reverse flash potentially changes the history of the course and essentially erases Arrow season four as he goes into a shuttle-like thing that the Flash has and he starts running around really, really, really fast and we see a time portal open but where he goes to we don't know. So that was a sick teaser. So let me know down below, did Damien Dark just erase Arrow season four and did them implications change Arrow season five? Personally, I don't think they did. The chemistry between Ray Palmer and Heatwave is it's just spot on. So Martin Stein tells his younger self to cherish his wife. She is the most important thing to him. And a younger version of Martin Stein promises to make her the most important thing in their life. So not an awful lot actually happened in this episode, but it was a really cool episode. I mean, in this episode, Nate Haywood, command, sits in Commander Steel, all of a sudden knows how to control his abilities, because he turns it on like that. I mean, the last episode, he turned it on and got lucky in the kind of, and um, the bomb went off and he kind of steeled out, but he just turned it on like that which we didn't actually see him do before. Did he learn this somewhere else? I, did I miss something? Let me know down below if I missed something. So that is pretty much what happened that episode. Uh, it was mainly focused around Sarah's trying, trying to hold back her frustration at Damien Dark. And obviously she's the captain, so she's got to be responsible. And she's told she's more than an assassin. She is a captain. So pretty sick episode, we're getting closer and closer to the invasion. Obviously the invasion will finish on Legends of Tomorrow, seeing as they are the kind of time traveling show. So let me know down below, what do you think uh, the whole Barry Allen message is? We didn't get anything to do with the Barry Allen message in this episode, but let me know what you think the ending meant. Did Ebar Thorne uh, kind of time jump in to a different time obviously legion doom is coming with captain cold an early version of captain cold is going to have to be because the uh current one died malcolm merlin will be coming in and then it's damien dark in first flash that's going to be an awesome episode i think that is episode legion of doom episode 10 so i presume that's when they're going to come in Next week's episode is called Outlaw Country. It, the trailer looks pretty cool. We get Jonah Hex again, so that would be pretty sick. Anyway, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you haven't entered my competition on my previous video, I will leave a card just here. All you have to do, simple, simplicity, subscribe, and comment who is Prometheus. No, I'm not begging for subscribers. I just want people to subscribe so I know they actually watch the video. And that is it. And we'll see you in another video.